we have learnt that there are various forms of energies and kinetic energy is one of them for example a moving car or a flying aeroplane the kinetic energy possessed by these objects depends upon their masses and their velocity any moving object possesses kinetic energy due to its motion to understand kinetic energy let us take a simple example let us consider a heavy ball this ball has mass m and it's moving with some velocity say velocity v in the path of this ball a wooden block is placed when this ball hits the wooden block it stops and the wooden block gets displaced by a certain distance if the ball moves faster it will hit the wooden block with more impact and the wooden block will be displaced more than last one this happens because energy is transferred from the ball to the wooden block and this transferred energy is known as kinetic energy now let us express the kinetic energy of an object in the form of an equation consider an object of mass m moving with a uniform velocity v kinetic energy can be expressed as e is equal to half mv square now let us calculate work done by kinetic energy in our previous example consider u is the initial velocity of the ball and v is the final velocity of the ball after hitting the wooden block now by the expression of kinetic energy the kinetic energy possessed by the ball in the beginning and the kinetic energy possessed by the ball after hitting the wooden block the difference of these kinetic energies is equal to the work done thanks for watching if you like this video please like and subscribe our channel